Now, I don't know if exactly 90% of you are going to get this wrong, but I suspect the vast majority of people that are going to try this problem without a calculator are going to make an error because they don't understand basic math as well as they think. So let's test your basic math skills and see if you can do this problem. So we have 6 plus 2 times 3 minus 5 in parentheses squared divided by 2 squared. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the complete solution steps here in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have a simple arithmetic problem. We're not doing any algebra or calculus. So we have six plus two times three minus five in parentheses squared divided by two squared. So once again, no calculators, but uh, let's take a look at the complete solution steps right now. So before I show you the way to do this problem correctly, Let's talk about the type of errors that people are going to make. And I think we can kind of classify this in two ways. So, of course, if someone doesn't know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, or take simple powers, and in this particular problem, we're also dealing with uh, some positive and negative numbers. So if you don't know these basic number operations, of course, you're going to have a tough time with this problem. But the vast majority of people are going to make an error with this right here, and that is the order in which they do the problem. So I suspect uh, a lot of you out there are pretty good with these basic number operations, but if you're not extremely careful in uh, the order in which you do this problem, you're going to get it wrong, and it can be a little bit tricky. So this, again, I think is where the vast majority of people are going to get uh, this problem wrong. But how do we kind of know the correct order to do this problem? Well, in mathematics, we have something called the order of operations. And there is a lovely acronym that we can use to help us uh, kind of walk through the steps. So we are taking the correct order of operations, and that is called PEMDAS. All right, so PEMDAS is an acronym. These letters stand for something. And basically, it's a checklist that goes from left to right. Now, before I tell you what these uh, letters stand for, let me give you a little memory aid here, a little mnemonic. So that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This phrase has been around forever. Okay, so let's go ahead and start right here with P. Again, this is a checklist from left to right. So P stands for parentheses. So if we have any parentheses, or brackets, or these type of squiggly brackets. These are what we call grouping symbols in mathematics. So if we have any of these, we're going to start there. Now, sometimes uh, in a math problem, you can have parentheses inside of brackets like this. So the way this works is you will start with the innermost parentheses and work your way out. Now, not every math problem is going to have grouping symbols. But if it does, that is where you're going to start. Okay, so again, P stands for parentheses or grouping symbols. Now, uh, once you're done with all of the, the grouping symbols, you move on to E, and E stands for exponents, and basically that just means power. So if you have like two to the third power, this three up here is called the exponent. This two down here is called the base. The entire thing is a power. So two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. Okay, so this is what you're going to do next, any powers or exponents. But again, not every problem is going to have parentheses and exponents, but you're just kind of scanning your problem from left to right. And if you have these things, this is the order in which you're going to do them. Okay, so now we're down to M, D, A, and S. So what does M, D, A, and S stand for? Well, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So based upon this checklist, it kind of makes sense that we're going to uh, take care of any multiplication that we may have in the problem. And this is where a lot of people make a mistake 
with the order of operations because this is not the way uh, we read this PEMDAS. Okay, so we have to be very careful with this PEMDAS checklist. The way this actually works is we're going to do any multiplication or division, whatever we see first from left to right. So if we have multiplication, then division, we will do multiplication first. But if we happen to have division, then multiplication, we will do division first because that's what we see first from left to right. And addition and subtraction work the same way. Okay, so now that you understand PEMDAS, go back to this problem and maybe take a look at your work. Hopefully you wrote out all the steps, you know, one by one, but uh, kind of, you know, maybe look to see if you took the right steps because I want to show you them right now. So now that we understand the correct order of operations, all we have to do is follow this PEMDAS checklist from left to right and do this problem one step at a time. Okay, so we're going to start here with P and we're going to scan the problem for any grouping symbols or parentheses. Of course, we have a set right here. So our first thing is to figure out what 3 minus 5 is equal to. All right, so you got to be careful here because we're dealing with uh, positive and negative numbers. So 3 minus 5 is the same thing as 3 plus a negative 5. So this is negative 2. Okay, so the result of taking that first step is the following. Okay, so again, we're going to do this one step at a time. You don't want to do multiple steps at once. That's how you make mistakes. Okay, so 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Now, if you look here, we still have these parentheses, but there's no mathematical operations. There's nothing to do inside of these parentheses. So effectively, uh, the P part of our PEMDAS is done. So we're going to move on to the next step, and that is to look to see if we have any exponents or powers. Now, of course, we do. We have uh, negative 2 squared right here and 2 squared here. So you have to be very careful here. But 2 squared is what? Well, that's 2 times 2 or a positive 4. Excuse me, the negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is also a positive 4. All right, so this uh, negative 2 in this parentheses means take negative 2 and multiply it by itself. So again, you have to be you know, very um, aware of all these little positive and negative numbers. Uh, these little uh, small details could end up you know, causing someone to get the wrong answer. All right, but uh, negative times negative is a positive. So again, we're just going to take this one step at a time. But on this step, we have two powers. So let's go ahead and write the um, uh, results of negative 2 squared and 2 squared here. So now our problem is 6 plus 2 times 4, which is the result of negative 2 squared divided by 2 squared, which is also 4. So now our problem is this. So again, we're just kind of controlling the steps, you know, one at a time and referencing our PAMDAS checklist. Before I finish up this problem, take a quick second and hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you really want to learn math from me, you got to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about in this particular video is basic mathematics. So I would recommend something like maybe my math foundations or my math skills rebuilder course or maybe even my pre-algebra course. You can find links to all of those in the description. So let's finish up this problem. And again, we're just kind of working this PAMDAS checklist from left to right. So we took care of all parentheses, all exponents and powers. So now we're down to multiplication or division. So if our problem has any multiplication or division, we're going to do whatever we see first from left to right. So as we scan the problem, we see multiplication before division. So that is what we have to do. Okay, so 2 times 4 is, of course, 8. So that is what we're going to write. Again, we're just taking this one step at a time. So now we have addition and division. Of course, we're going to do all division before any addition. So now we have 8 divided by 4, which, of course, is going to be 2. All right, and notice I'm just kind of writing this out one step at a time. This is the way you need to do it, even though, you know, this math is pretty easy. But if you don't take your time and write this out one step at a time, it's easy to make a mistake. 
Okay, so 8 divided by 4, of course, is 2. So our final answer is going to be 6 plus 2, which, of course, is 8. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face, an A plus, and a 100%. Great job. Now, you know, I kind of was... Um, saying that 90% of this or 90% of the people that were going to do this problem were going to make a mistake. Hopefully you already knew all these steps, but some of you may have gotten the right answer but got lucky, right? That can't happen. So hopefully you learned something here or you strengthen what you already know. But if you made a mistake, no big deal, all right? Matter of fact, that's a good thing because hopefully this video clarified anything you didn't understand. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.